What's up everyone, GMC Yukon. We're going to be installing this trailer brake controller. Um, the one I got is uh, Kurt Ven Venturer. I think that's what that is. <laughs> I'm illiterate. Um, anyways, here's my part number. And um, something to note on these on these um, connectors, there's like a letters, there's like A, B, I don't know if it's too white, but right where their wire's going, you see where it says A and B. And on the back, there's like C and D. It might be just too bright for my camera to pick up. So, when you find your spot to plug it in, it'll have those um, letters as well. On this particular GMC Yukon, we're going to take this cover off right here. There's a lot of wires, so be careful not to rip any wires. And the spot for it is right here. And as you can see, it has the letters A, B, C, and D. So make sure the letters match up to the um, connector on there. We're going to go ahead and, and plug this in. And then once it's plugged in, I'm going to mount it um, in the spot. Mounting it's not bad. I'm going to show you how to do that too. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Make sure it gets in tight. Okay, so I got it in. And what I did is I just turned the key on and then the red light should come on. That's how you know if it's uh, getting power and it's in enough. This one, it didn't really, uh, it clicked very light. Usually when connectors go in, they, they click pretty loud to lock. But uh, I don't know what it is, but it clicked a little bit. But it's in tight and I got this. So just something to be aware of. Now we're going to... Put the uh, cover back on this fuse box or this junction box I guess it's called now this part goes on the bottom right here like that okay so I got that on and I went down just this spot right here and it didn't it didn't pinch the wire it just went out fine um, I had to move these wires to the side when I'm putting this fuse cover back in and um, also Pay attention to these lock spots. That's when you push it in, they should click and lock. Also, when you take it off, you should go to those and push up that little tab part first to get it off. But that's in. So now that this is in and over here, I'm going to mount it. Probably about right here. So it'll sit uh, like this. Or you could also mount it over here. Um, either way, really, there's no right answer. Some people put it down here. And then run the wires up here and you could zip tie them up to the other wires to keep keep the wires out the way. Just make sure that's not going to be hitting your feet or getting in the way of your pedals or your e-brake. Make sure, you know, it's completely out of the way. Okay, uh, so the next part is mounting it. Uh, I got my mount kind of going here. You want to pick a spot that when you're sitting in here, you know your legs won't hit. So this spot, I'm, look, I'm thinking right here, my right foot could do this stuff, and my left foot could still access the emergency brake easily. So I'm going to try to put it right here, see what happens. Uh, the bag will come with two of these screws, and also two of these skinnier ones. These are kind of skinnier, longer. These are short and kind of fatter. Also, there's these little grommets in the sides here uh, that help you put it in place. So keep those in place. And how it mounts is right here on the side. This will go in here and mount like that. And then you run the bigger screws in the holes right there like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in off camera. And we'll check it out. Good. So mine's mounted right about there. And I'm going to take the wires and run them underneath. And get them completely away from the pedals. You can use zip ties or twisty ties. Whatever you got. Alright. Okay. So the end product is pretty much just like that. And then it comes underneath, and I use the twisty tie that came with it to just kind of run. I, I uh, loop the the wire harness, tucked it up, and then twisty tied it right here with the twisty tie it came with. I recommend doing some zip ties or additional twisty ties just to make sure you don't, you don't want these wires coming undone when you're out in the freeway or nothing, or going up a mountain. But uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Pretty easy to do. On this car, I'd say the hardest part is just, you want to take your time to mount this so it's not all crooked and looking, you know, messed up looking on you. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.